uh, hello to all of you uh, this is narendra sharma from the platform of iq civil science academy and uh, these are the panels of elite faculties whatever the pictures you can see here and these are the government projects which are governed by iq civil science academy isn't it you can go through it these are the google reviews through which you can easily understand that how this academy will be beneficial for you for making your career for making your future because many of the faculties are from delhi and they are consistently uh, giving their services in guwahati in this iq civil science academy so uh, what you can say this is the only institute where you can have such kind of faculties which are coming from delhi isn't it well google reviews can reveal other things also like who are the faculties and um, how how much beneficial these faculties will be for you isn't it in your future well let's talk about the admissions uh, this is the inquiry number these are the inquiries numbers and uh, you can contact on such numbers for if you want to take admissions here and uh, batches regarding batches i am telling you uh, these are the old batches which are written here so the new batches are upcoming batches uh, upcoming batches like it is on you should remember the date 27th of september next is 11th of october so now you can enroll in this batch that is 11th of that is going to start from 11th of october then after this another batch will start from 26th of october so mind these dates these dates will be important for you if you want to take your i mean if you want to make your career in is isn't it for 2023 well today's topic is climate of northeast india isn't it climate of northeast india and uh in such regions what kind of climate we can visualize here uh, let's see what kind of seasons we are facing in northeast india uh, let's see so here i am going to discuss the climate of northeast region before discussing the climate let's begin with the location of northeast region isn't it because location of any particular region is one of the major important climatic determinants until unless you are not going through location you cannot relate that location with the climatic phenomena or the weather phenomena now if you come to the location of northeast india if you see the location of northeast india is located in the northern hemisphere isn't it and it is the northeast part of india the entire region looks like a reverse triangle with its apex at the southernmost tip of mizoram the entire region looks like a reverse triangle isn't it you can see in this diagram also it is a reverse triangle isn't it like you can see Uh, it's a triangular shape of what you can say yes so triangular shape of northeast region reverse triangle with its apex at the southernmost tip of mizoram but there is no distinct southernmost boundary of the region southernmost boundary kuch bhi nahi hai and uh, triangular shape is like see this is triangular so apex is at mizoram isn't it here mizoram and this is the triangular shape of northeast well there is no distinct southernmost boundary of the region the altitude of the region varies is varying from almost sea level to about 7000 meter above mean sea level isn't it i mean it is the average it is varying from one region to another and this region is located between 20 degree north of latitude to 29 degree north of latitude and 89 degree east of longitude to 97 degree east of longitude isn't it so northern and eastern boundaries of these regions are natural barriers represented by the high himalayan mountains so they are represented by the high himalayan mountains and patkai hills ranges isn't it so northern east northern and eastern boundaries of this region are the natural barriers how you can see here northern and eastern boundary This is the northernmost boundary, isn't it? And this is the eastern boundary. So I am erasing it so that you can see it clearly again. See, this is your northern boundary, and this is eastern boundary. So northern and eastern both are showing the natural barriers represented by high hill mountains and Patkai Hills ranges, and such natural barriers have a major impact on the climate of this region. and also a political importance 
isn't it? So political importance as well. If you see the location of northeast, you can find mountain barriers like Himalayas are here, and Purvanchal Hills are forming the boundary between Myanmar and northeast region, isn't it? If you can see the map, this is the Myanmar, and this is the northeast boundary. So. Yes. Uh, now come to the climatic. This was the location. Whatever I have discussed till now, that was the location of Northeast India, isn't it? Next one is climatic characteristics of this region. From the location of these regions, we can see that this region is located between latitude 22 degree north and 29 degree, 9.5 degree north, isn't it? And the Tropic of Cancer passes through Tripura and Mizoram. Mind it which is the southern part of this region. Therefore, the region falls under the tropical monsoonal climate. The entire northeast region is falling under tropical monsoonal climate. On the other hand, this region is encircled on three sides by high mountain ranges and precipitous plateau Himalaya, isn't it? And so what you can see, if you see this location of northeast India, this, this comes under tropical monsoonal climatic region, isn't it? This comes under tropical monsoonal climate and the entire India also comes under tropical monsoonal climate. So it is not a very special thing. Isn't it? On the other hand, this circle is encircled by three sides by high mountain ranges and precipitous plateau Himalaya and coasts of southwest monsoon winds have provided its climate somewhat different from that the other parts of India. So because of you can see mountains are here, the branch which is coming from if I am making from another uh, pen or the what you can say other, another color this is the southwest monsoon branch which is entering into to northeast isn't it? so here this is this is the basically direction of what southwest monsoon and here Meghalaya hills are there so they are also uh, trapping the Southwest monsoon branch, which is coming from the Bay of Bengal. So this is the Bay of Bengal branch mainly, which is turning here because of the presence of Himalaya. Isn't it? So these Himalayas are stopping them to move in Chinese region, to move the southwest monsoon in Chinese region. So southwest monsoon is not going to enter into Chinese region because of the obstruction created by Himalaya. So it is turning this side. Isn't it? turning towards western part of India and in this way it goes through Indo-Gangetic plain. Okay, so this characteristics feature basically this is the natural barrier uh, it? as it has been written here on the other hand this region is encircled on three sides by high mountain ranges and precipitous plateau Meghalaya. Okay. This region is bounded by mountain hills. As I can show you here, see, this side is also mountain ranges. This side is also you are having mountain ranges. And here you are having plateau of Meghalaya plateau. So from three sides, it is surrounded by plateau and hills. That's why the winds that is known as Bay of Bengal branch is coming and trapping in such regions and moving towards west so this is bay of bengal branch isn't it and they are trapping along the khasi hills of meghalaya so because of trapping of of the uh, bay of bengal branch in khasi hills of meghalaya they are really, they are related with the high rainfall that's why rain uh, enormous amount of rainfall occurs in meghalaya plateau isn't it well so, uh, because of such physiographic region or the location, isn't it? Here the climate is somewhat different from other parts of India. And southwest monsoon is the main source of rain in this region. Southwest monsoon is coming in this region, but in the form of which branch? In the form of Bay of Bengal branch, isn't it? This is the Bay of Bengal branch of southwest monsoon. Isn't it? This is the main reason behind the rainfall in northeast region of India. 
Now let's see the factors which are influencing the climate of this region. If you see the situation and the alignment of the hills, plateaus and mountains, the Himalayas. See, we are going in detail in such programs. If you are going through, suppose we are discussing here only the climatic regions of India or climate regions of Northeast. It means we have done a lot of work in the classroom program, isn't it? Classroom program regarding climate and all, isn't it? So basis of the fundamentals of climate you have learned in the classroom. And we are only going through the climatic regions of Northeast. So never worries if you want to get to the details of climatology. Obviously, you should join the class. And again, I am telling you the next date of the classes. I mean, new batches, 11th October and 26th of October. Okay. So mind these dates and you can contact on these numbers, which are continuously displaying on the slides. So here. Uh, yes, now come to the factors, which the factors which are influencing the climate of the Northeast. What are the major factors? It can be asked in your prelims exam as well as in your mains exam. Situation and the alignment of the hills. Isn't right? Situation and alignment of the hills. Alignment means the kind of geometry they are providing in this area. Hills, plateau and mountains as well. The Himalayas are in the north. Patkai and other hills in the east. And Meghalaya plateau in the middle have affected the general tropical warm climate of the region. The Himalayan mountain ranges, Purvanchal ranges, isn't it? Along with Manipur ranges. So Patkai Bom and high hill ranges of Manipur, Mizoram border with Myanmar prevent the rain-bearing monsoon winds from escaping from this region. Isn't it? Mind these sentences. And I have told you, I have shown you in the diagram that such hills and mountains are basically Stopping, stopping the diversion of Bengal branch of southwest monsoon, and they are trapping in the in this region, isn't it? They are moving in this way. They are going in this way north. Then it is turning towards west because of the mountains and the plateaus, which are the part of which are covering the entire northeast from three sides. See, because of the structure again, I am telling you, and Meghalaya plateau is here. Because of the structure, this monsoonal wind is trapping the northeast region, responsible for much of rainfall here. Now, further, these ranges don't allow the dry and cold winds of Central Asia. Yes, what they do, I mean, these physiographic locations or these Himalayas mountains here, they are not allowing the cold and chilly winds from the cold and dry winds from the Siberia, isn't it? So, Central Asia to enter the Northeast region. Yes, on the other hand, Meghalaya plateau standing athwart the course of the southwest, southward, standing southward the course of southwest monsoon, which making them rise. Yeah, the southward on a chain, the course of the southwest monsoon wind make them rise orographically, and that's why the rainfall which occurs in northeast. Uh, that is orographic in nature. Orographic means uh, when the rainfall occurs by the support of the mountains, when the warm winds are rising above for the condensation or for the formation of clouds by the support of mountain, then it is known as orographic rainfall. And because of orographic rainfall, they are causing the heaviest rainfall in the world in the southern margin. Heaviest rainfall in the world, that is in the Khasi Hills. As I have told you, पहले भी मैं बता चुका हूँ कि इस रीजन में जो खासे हिल्स हैं, तो खासे हिल्स आर लाइक दिस, दे आर फनल सेप्ड, दे आर हैविंग फनल सेप्ड स्ट्रक्चर, सो व्हेन दिस, आई मीन हियर खासे हिल्स आर प्रेजेंट, सो दे आर व्हाट काइंड ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर, दे आर हैविंग फनल सेप्ड, इसन्ट राइट? सो व्हेनेवर द विंड्स, आई मी and that's why concentrated rainfall occurs in these regions of Khasi Hills. And that's why this region becomes the area of world's highest rainfall, isn't it? Like Chirapunji and Masanram is there. So second, second point or second factor is influencing the climate of Northeast. The seasonal changes in the pressure condition over the Bay of Bengal. On one hand, 
and over the northwest landmass of India on the other. These seasonal changes of pressure condition occurs due to different seasons and the northward migration of the sun. Isn't right? The high pressure and low pressure creates pressure gradients. Such a condition results in the occurrence of thunder showers, occasional rains, and spells. Well, what is this? This is about the seasonal changes in the pressure condition of the Bay of Bengal. Like if we are having such seasons like winter and summer. In winter and summer, you can see the changes in the pressure condition. Like low pressure becomes high pressure, high pressure becomes low pressure. Over the two regions of Northeast India, I mean, uh, sorry, over the two regions of India, which is affecting the climate of Northeast India. So Bay of Bengal, in summer, low pressure develops over Bay of Bengal, isn't it? And in winter, in winter, uh, what you can say, high pressure develops over the northwest part of India. Isn't it? Because there is a thunder in the winter, so high pressure will be higher in the Bay of Bengal, so low pressure will be higher. So high pressure and low pressure creates pressure gradients. Isn't it? The pressure difference is due to pressure difference because of such pressure difference, winds are blowing. Suppose winds are blowing from high to low pressure. Isn't it? Due to pressure difference. And at low pressure, they start rising above where they are forming clouds and the rainfall occurs at low pressure area. Isn't it? So thunder showers, occasional rains and swells are the characteristic features of Northeast India because of changes in the pressure condition of two regions. That is, first one is Bay of Bengal. Another one is, that is, Northwestern landmass of India. Okay. Third. Third factor which is affecting what? The climate of Northeast of India. The tropical oceanic air mass that blows, the tropical oceanic air mass that blows over the region. Isn't it? Tropical oceanic air mass that is, Southwest monsoon blows over the region. Now, when south west monsoon, suppose I have told you and I have shown you in this diagram, again I am showing you so that you can understand each and everything about the climatic regions of northeast. When the uh, these winds, southwest winds, southwest monsoonal winds are crossing through northeast region, isn't it? In this way. So they are responsible for rainfall in such region. They are also bringing moisture from where? From Bay of Bengal. The southwest monsoon branch bringing moisture from rainfall and responsible for the rainfall in northeast part of India. Isn't it? That's what it is written here. The tropical oceanic air mass that blows over the region it leads to rainfall in such region because they are extracting moisture from the Bay of Bengal. Occasional visit of westerlies in winter, the winter season, the wind reaches to the upper Indus Valley and the upper Gangetic Plains sometimes travel as far as east. The Brahmaputra Valley causing overcast sky, drizzle, and rain. It is what? It is nothing but the western disturbances, isn't it? It is nothing but the western disturbances which are coming from the western region of India, isn't it? Suppose I am making diagram here, western uh, region of India. So see, from western region of India, what is entering? Cyclonic rainfall entering, isn't it? And after crossing through Indo-Gangetic Plain, sometimes it also enters into Northeast area, isn't it? But much 50 to 60, 70, 50 to 60, 70 meter of rainfall occurs in Northwestern part of India. So when they reaches to the Northeast, only 5 to 10 centimeter of rainfall occurs in Northeast, Northeast region of India. But yes, the Western disturbances which are entering the India from Western part and after entering through western part, they are crossing through Indo-Gangetic Plain and entering into Northeast India, which are known as Norwesters here. In ko yaha par Norwesters bhi kehte hain, because they are coming from Northwest part of India, isn't it? So this is cyclonic rainfall, which is also responsible for rainfall in Northeast region. Okay, that's why it's reason uh, written here. So it is about western disturbance, which are reaching to the far east, isn't it? The presence of local mountains and valley winds. Dust storm, occurrence of haze, mist and fog occurs due to presence of local winds. See, in the class, in the classroom session, we have discussed all about the dust storm, haze, mist, fog, isn't it? So, all these things we are not going to discuss here because that is a part of climatology. And again, I want to tell you, if you want to join the class, there are two dates right now. 
11th of October and 26th of October, isn't it? So you can go in detail for such kind of terms. We are visualizing your age, mist, fog, etc., isn't it? So what is written? What is the point? Is presence of local mountains and valley winds, isn't it? Because of local mountains and valley winds, we can see such kind of formation, such kind of weather formation, or such kind of condensation, which are known as age, mist, fog, isn't it? So hedge mist and fog, what are they? They are the local weather condition. And why they are in the northeast? Because of local mountains and valley winds. Okay. Now another factor which is influencing the climate of northeast India. Presence of numerous vast water bodies and extensive forest and development of local cyclone. Mind it. Numerous vast water bodies, extensive forest and local cyclones. Such questions can be asked in your APSC also. Okay. APSC may pucha sakta hai. What are the factors which are affecting the I mean climate of Northeast India, isn't it? Development of local cyclones. Occurrence of storm is also common in the plains of Assam, which is not very far away from Bay of Bengal. Most of these storms have their origin in the tropical cyclones of the Bay of Bengal. It means because of presence of vast water bodies, the wind which are warm, if they are coming into northeast, they extract the moisture from water bodies and extensive forest, isn't it? And responsible for rainfall after condensation. Cyclones are also developing over the plain region of Assam, isn't it? And these cyclones are taking moisture from Bay of Bengal, and uh, most of the cyclones are originating in tropic in the Bay of Bengal and enters into Assam region, isn't it? In this way also, this area receives rainfall. Now this was all about the factors which are influencing the climatic condition or climate of what northeast of India? Now come to the seasons of northeast India. What are the various seasons of northeast yes. India? This is the second part of this discussion, today's discussion. On the basis of temperature, pressure, humidity, which are the main physical factors for the climate and the spatial distribution over the land mass, the weather condition of northeast India in a year can be categorized into four seasons. Okay. This basis for four seasons to describe karna hai. temperature, pressure, humidity. And the spatial distribution of land mass, isn't it? In ke basis pe, northeast India mein kitne season hote hain? Char season hote hain. Let's see. Winter season. The temperature begins to fall over northeast India with the southward migration of the sun or the ITC jet. Or the shifting of ITC jet towards south. We have discussed a lot about ITC in the class. So temperature begins to fall over northeast India with the southward migration of the sun after 23rd September and winter sets in the towards the later part of November. So it continues up to the end of February. Isn't it? Temperature begins to fall over northeast India. Now uh, when when the IT city also starts shifting southward. It means this September ke baad, 23rd September ke baad, winter sets in towards the later part of November. It continues up to the end of February. Tak chalta rahega. December is the driest month of the year here. During this period, a local low pressure sets in on Brahmaputra Valley. This along with the Maitland low can bring about cloudy and drizzly weather. Isn't it? Alki fulki barish ho jati hai. December ke mahine mein bhi. Okay. Why? December ke mahine mein kisse barish ho rahi hai? Why? Jo Mediterranean Sea se Western Disturbance aata hai moisture lekar. Usi Western Disturbance ke baat ho rahi hai. Because Western Disturbances are mainly responsible for rainfall in uh, winter season, isn't it? That's what we're talking about here. So in winter season, we are receiving rainfall from western disturbances also. That is the cyclonic rainfall, which are taking moisture from the Mediterranean Sea and coming towards northeast of India with cloudy and drizzle weather. Okay. Cold northeast trade wind. The cold northeast trade wind occasionally blows over Arunachal Pradesh, Nagaland, Manipur, Meghalaya and Mizoram. Hills, on hills ke upar blow karta hai, Kaun? cold northeast trade wind, isn't it? Occasionally I am telling you, not usually, occasionally. Bringing down the temperature over the region. Yaha ke temperature ho kam kar deta hai. Thick fog is an important weather feature of the winter season over the region. This region ki baat yaha ho rahi hai, waha pe ek mota fog charu develop hota hai. This region mein because of the blow of cold northeast trade winds, cold northeast trade winds, like in winter condition, See, I am showing you here, in winter condition, 
whole northeast trade winds are blowing from your northeast trade wind, isn't it? So these are blowing in this way, isn't it? They are the northeast trade winds, whole northeast trade winds. The rain falls normally during this period. While the northern eastern part of the region, that is the Arunachal foothills and the upper Brahmaputra plain, receives an average rainfall of 10 cm. On the other hand, the rest of the northeast India receives 5 cm rainfall during this period. Okay. In this whole duration, in the Brahmaputra plain, there is 10 cm rainfall, but in the rest of the areas, there is 5 cm rainfall. Why is this happening? North East part of the region Arunachal Pradesh, the foothills Arunachal Pradesh का foothills और upper Brahmaputra plain वहाँ पर 10 सेंटीमीटर का होता है क्योंकि हिमालय के बिल्कुल पास में ठीक है और बाकी जो एरिया जो हिमालय के बिल्कुल पास नहीं वहाँ 5 सेंटीमीटर होता है The weather during this period is influenced by the high pressure system of Central Asia है ना Weather during this period is influenced by the high pressure system of Central Asia Subtropical jet stream and the high pressure center over upper Myanmar. I mean, in winter, high pressure system is developing Central Asia, isn't it? And the subtropical jet stream and the high pressure center over upper Myanmar. So, ye weather, yani ki, northeast of India is also influencing by weather, they are influencing by the weather of high pressure system and the High pressure system over Myanmar as well as subtropical jet stream. High pressure means what? High pressure is the zone of dryness, not rainfall. Isn't it? Low pressure is the zone of rainfall. In this area, winter, if winter prevails, then much of the coldness can, can be observed. Isn't it? This is about the cold condition of the winter season of Northeast. Now come to the Pre-monsoon season. With the end of February, temperature begins to rise in the region. Isn't it? With the end of February, temperature begins to rise in the region. March, April and May become sufficiently hot and rains do not come in their full form. Kab hota ye? When the end of February. Isn't it? Yaha par temperature badna start hota hai north east mein. Kaun se mahine mein? February mein. March, April aur May bohat jada hot ho jata hai. But abhi bhi barish bahut jada nahi hoti, rains don't come in their full form. We can say the pre-monsoon period is a transitional zone between the dry and cool winter and warm rainy season. Isn't it? Pre-monsoon period is a transitional zone between dry and cool winter. Abhi dekha humne, cool winter ke baad hi to aya. Aur abhi barish nahi hoi hai. Yani ki abhi barish hone wala hai, warm rainy season aane wala aur cold winter chala gaya hai. Uske beech ke period ko hum pre-monsoon season kehte hai. In this period, the diurnal range of temperature is very high. Diurnal range, as I have told you in the class, this is the temperature difference between maximum and minimum, isn't it? So, diurnal range of temperature is very high. While the late night is pretty cool. Raat mein kya hota hai? Thanda ho jata hai. Thik thak thanda ho jata hai. But the afternoon is very high. Dopahar ke time mein bohat jara temperature feel hota hai. The important characteristics of these seasons are the rapidly increasing temperature. The monsoon season mein, टेम्परेचर बढ़ता जाता है क्योंकि देखो यहाँ से स्टार्ट हो रहा है स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम फेब्रुवरी राइज इन द रीजन मार्च अप्रैल मई तक बहुत ज्यादा हॉट हो जाएगा डिस अपियरेंस ऑफ फॉग एंड फ्रीक्वेंट अकरेंस ऑफ हेल स्टॉम एंड थंडर सावर इस टाइम में फॉग हट जाएगा विंटर खत्म हो गया तो फॉग भी चला जाएगा लेकिन हेल स्टॉम एंड थंडर सावर आता रहेगा और बॉर्डरी चिला बॉर्डरी चिला इज अ वेल नोन स्टॉम इन असम ड्यूरिंग दिस सीजन so pre monsoon shower bordoi chilla is also known as pre monsoon shower of this region isn't it pre monsoon shower now monsoon season monsoon season prevails over northeast india this is the third season first was the winter season as we have seen second is the pre monsoon season and the third is the monsoon season pura garmi ka season hota hai North East mein. Monsoon season prevails over the North East India during the months of dekho, June, July, August and September. Pura garmi rahega is time mein. Due to the northward migration of the sun, due to the ITC rate, when the ITC rate shifting from 
जीरो डिग्री टू नॉर्थ इज इट हियर फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी थ्री पॉइंट फाइव डिग्री यहाँ पर आई रेट शिफ्ट हो जाता है तो ये रीजन नॉर्थ ईस्ट का ही आता है यहाँ पे यहाँ नॉर्थ ईस्ट इंडिया है ड्यू टू नॉर्थवर्ड माइग्रेशन ऑफ द सन द इंडियन लैंड मार्क्स गेट्स हीटेड एंड लो प्रेशर सिस्टम आता है दिस लो प्रेशर सिस्टम प्रिवेल्स ओवर नॉर्थ ईस्ट इंडिया ऑल्सो पूरे इंडिया में नॉर्थ ईस्ट पूरे इंडिया में मानसून में पड़ा है एज वी आर डिस्कसिंग मानसून सीजन दैट लो प्रेशर सिस्टम प्रिवेल्स ओवर द इंडिया एंड ओवर द नॉर्थ ईस्ट इंडिया ऑल्सो मानसून वेंट सेंटर थ्रू नॉर्थ ईस्ट इंडिया थ्रू टू रूट वन इज फ्रॉम साउथ फ्रॉम द बे ऑफ बंगाल एंड अदर वन इज फ्रॉम द साउथ वेस्ट फ्रॉम अरेबियन सी दो तरफ से क्या होता है एंटर करता है एक साउथ से जो बे ऑफ बंगाल से और एंड अदर वन इज फ्रॉम द साउथ वेस्ट एक अरेबियन सी से एंटर करता है ठीक है दिस लो प्रेशर सिस्टम ओवर दिस रीजन अट्रैक्ट द विंड फ्रॉम द रिलेटिवली हाई प्रेशर बेल्ट ऑफ द साउदर्न सीज इंडियन ओशियन है बे ऑफ बंगाल है अरेबियन सी वहां से मॉइस्चर खींचता है क्योंकि लो प्रेशर डेवलप कर गया तो ऑब्वियसली हाई से लो की तरफ क्या होगा विंड आएगा और जो विंड आता है उसमें बहुत सारा मॉइस्चर होता है क्योंकि ओशन से आता है ये तो द साउथ वेस्ट मानसून विंड फ्रॉम बोथ द अरेबियन सी एंड द बे ऑफ बंगाल स्ट्राइक्स मेघालय फर्स्ट एंड देन मूव फर्दर नॉट टू स्ट्राइक अगेंस्ट द हिमालयन फुट हिल्स एज दिस विंड आर विद इन द लेस देन फाइव किलोमीटर फ्रॉम द सर्फेस द स्ट्राइक अगेंस्ट द सदर हिल स्लोप and rise up in this process the rising air masses loses heat at a wet adiabatic rate okay so this process mein kya hota hai jaise unko hills milta hai hill se bhi wind starts rising upward and condensation takes place which results into rainfall isn't it and after rainfall it is losing the wet adiabatic rate loss of heat by wet adiabatic rate okay The moisture content of the air mass condenses and rainfall occurs in the windward side of the hills. Sabhi pata hai maine moisture condenses hota hai aur rainfall hota hai. Yani Arunachal Pradesh ke southern foothills mein idhar barish hogi. Idhar se monsoon aata hai na, idhar ek to Meghalaya plateau mein jata hai. Idhar Himalaya ke tarf se jab cross karta hai to yahan uthta hai. Uthke clouds banata hai. Clouds hamari taraf rainfall karta hai. To especially in the Windward side of the hills, especially in Meghalaya plateau, Himalayan foothills and the foothills of the eastern ranges. इधर बारिश होता है कहाँ का? Meghalaya plateau, Himalayan foothills, that is Brahmaputra or Arunachal के बीच वाला area north में, and the foothills of the eastern ranges. पूर्वांचल ranges के east में भी बारिश होता है. यानी कहाँ कहाँ होता है ये देखो यहाँ पे मैं दिखा दे रहा हूँ diagram में. You can see here the diagram. एज द मानसूनल विंड्स आर एंटरिंग थ्रू हियर इधर का जो माउंटेन्स के सहारे होता है ईस्टर्न माउंटेन के सहारे भी इधर रेनफॉल हो जाएगा और इधर भी हो जाता है हिमालय के फुट हिल्स में और इधर मेघालय प्लेटू में भी प्लेटू के सपोर्ट से विंड्स ऊपर जाता है क्लाउड बनाता है और रेनफॉल होता है Okay, so in these regions you can have rainfall in which season? Monsoon season. Okay, so monsoon season is characterized by heavy rainfall, high relative humidity, and light surface wind. Mind it. Monsoon season is characterized by heavy rainfall, high RH, and light surface wind. Season of rotating monsoon. जब मानसून लौट रहा होता है अभी का जो टाइम है दिस इज द सीजन ऑफ रिटेटिंग मानसून इट अकर्स इन द लेटर पार्ट ऑफ सेप्टेम्बर ड्यूरिंग दिस टाइम द सन क्रॉसेज द इक्वेटर इट मीन सन इज क्रॉसिंग द इक्वेटर इट मीन्स आई टी सी जेड इज शिफ्टिंग साउथ वर्ड आई टी सी इज शिफ्टिंग साउथ वर्ड डेवलप इट्स टाइम इन दिस टाइम द टेम्परेचर बिगिन टू डिक्रीज द लो प्रेशर सिस्टम डेवलप ओवर द रीजन लूज एंड सेट्स ग्रिप and southwest monsoon wind ceases to be attracted the temperature comes down to 20 degree 25 degree in the plain and the 15 degree to 20 over the hills the rainfall decreases and stands at about 12 cm to 15 cm the region except meghalaya dekho yahan kya keh rahe hai ki barish lot raha hai yahan pe hai na september mein hota hai sun southward shift ho raha hai temperature kam hona shuru ho jata hai abhi ka time dekho abhi northeast mein temperature kam ho raha hoga है ना लो प्रेशर सिस्टम डेवलप्स ओवर द रीजन जो पहले लो प्रेशर तैयार हुआ था गर्मियों में 
वो लूजन से इट्स ग्रिप देर लूजनिंग देर ग्रिप और साउथ वेस्ट मानसून विंड सीज टू बी अट्रैक्टेड नाउ नो मोर साउथ वेस्ट मानसून विंड्स आर कमिंग टू दिस रीजन ओनली रेडिटरी मानसून लाइक विंड्स आर मूविंग बैक नॉट कमिंग इन नॉर्थ ईस्ट और नॉट इन द एंटायर पार्ट ऑफ इंडिया टेम्परेचर इतना कम हो जाता है प्लेन में और भी कम हो जाता है और हिल्स में प्लेन में इतना हो जाता है और हिल्स में और भी कम हो जाता है ना हिल्स में देखो और भी कम हो द रेनफॉल डिक्रीज एंड स्टैंड स्टैंड कितना सेंटीमीटर रीजन एक्सेप्ट मेघालय छोड़ के बाकी जगहों में सिर्फ इतना ही रेनफॉल होता है मेघालय में थोड़ा ज्यादा होता है बिकॉज ऑफ प्लेटू रीजन एंड खासे हिल्स एज आई टोल्ड यू खासे हिल्स में क्लाउड ट्रैप्स रहते हैं इसलिए थोड़ा ज्यादा होगा लॉटरी टाइम दिस शॉर्ट सीजन एट कवर्स ओनली द मंथ ऑफ अक्टूबर एंड नवंबर The treating monsoon is of short season and it is covering only September, October, and November. Okay. So this was all about the season of northeast. Now come to the climatic region of northeast India. In short, I am telling you climatic region of northeast India. It's a very helpful video for you because in short we are not only going to discuss the climatic region but the factors which are influencing the climate of northeast as well as the season of northeast as well as location of northeast as well as physiography of the northeast. So don't miss this video. and see north east india climatic zones you can see here the climatic zones let me uh, magnify this region see there are written 1 2 3 4 5 100 5 100 so here also 1 2 3 3 2 1 2 Three, four, and five is only here at the border of China. Five is here. So these are the five types of climatic zones of northeast. First one is cold, humid, high altitude climate. Second, they go humid subtropical monsoonal climate. Third, hot humid monsoonal climate. Fourth, rainy cool monsoonal climate. Fifth, region of alpine climate. Okay. So from the above discussion about different seasons. From the above discussion about different seasons, it becomes clear that अभी जो हम लोग ने different season को discuss किया है उससे एक बात तो clear हो जाती है किधर गया Yes, जो अभी तक हमने different season के बारे में discuss किया है so it becomes clear that climate of नॉर्थ ईस्ट इंडिया इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम अदर पार्ट ऑफ इंडिया और इनको पांच रीजन्स में डिवाइड किया गया है नॉर्थ ईस्ट के रीजन को इस मैप से भी तुम डिविजन देख सकते हो दिस इज बेसिकली अबाउट कोपेन क्लासिफिकेशन कोपेन है ना कोपेन हैज क्लासिफाइड द एंटायर इंडिया इन टू सेवरल क्लाइमेटिक रीजन सो नॉर्थ ईस्ट इंडिया एंटायर इंडिया हैज बिन डिड इन टू एट क्लाइमेटिक रीजन एज पर एज कोपेन क्लासिफिकेशन इज कंसर्न बट कोपेन क्लासिफिकेशन हैज डिवाइडेड नॉर्थ ईस्ट इंडिया इन टू फाइव क्लाइमेटिक रीजन वेरी फेमस पर्सन कोपेन एज यू नो The first one is region of cold, humid, high altitude climate. First type of climatic zone, isn't it? As we have seen through magnifier. This type of climate is found in eastern hills. This type of climate is found in the eastern hills in the areas of about two thousand meter, mid north of Arunachal Pradesh. Obviously, hilly hai, to cold hoga. Barish bhi hota hai, to humid hoga. Or high altitude climate. Hai. The temperature is generally low over here. Generally, come होता है winter season temperature reaches below zero degree. Summer में भी बीस degree से ऊपर नहीं जाता है. Average annual precipitation is above hundred fifty centimeter. Above average, annual average. Precipitation is high. As far as temperature is concerned, it is low. But the pressure is temperature precipitation is high. Sometimes snowfall occurs here. In winter, कभी कभी snowfall के form में होता है. प्रेसिपिटेशन हाई इसलिए क्योंकि माउंटेन्स है और माउंटेन्स है तो यहाँ पे रेनफॉल का नेचर क्या होता है पूरो ग्राफिक द एंटायर रीजन इज माउंटेनस एंड दस एग्रीकल्चरल एक्टिविटीज आर लिमिटेड हियर यू नो इन अरुणाचल प्रदेश सम अमाउंट ऑफ मेज मिलेट्स वेजिटेबल्स फ्रूट्स लाइक लेमन एप्पल पाइन एप्पल पीरट्स ग्रोन ऑन द हिल स्लो बाई शिफ्टिंग मेथड सर यू कैन इमेजिन दट दिस वीडियो विल बी हाईली हेल्प फॉर यू बिकॉज वी आर कवरिंग एंटायर थिंग्स नॉट ओनली द क्लाइमेट बट The agriculture, the crops which are associated with such kind of climatic region. So you should remember all these facts that can be highly 
useful for your APSC exam. Okay, not only for UPSC but APSC also. Region of humid subtropical monsoonal climate. Okay, Arunachal foothills. This is the region of humid subtropical monsoonal. Isn't it? Where such kind of climate is found? This is the second type of climatic region. Arunachal Pradesh foothills, Brahmaputra Valley, Nagaland, eastern part of North Kachar Hills, Manipur, Mizoram. Okay. Summer is hot and humid. Winter is longer and drier than in the plains. Lifting cultivation, terrace cultivation, commonly sedentary cultivation are practiced here. Mage, millets, pineapple, hill rice, wet rice, vegetables, etc. are grown here. This region is covered with dense vegetation and supports many animals, including elephants. Okay, as you can find elephants in Brahmaputra Valley regions also. So this is the region of humid subtropical monsoonal climate. Third, region of hot humid monsoonal climate. The plain areas of northern foothills of Meghalaya comes under this region. Temperature is generally high. In the summer, you can imagine, maximum temperature reaches up to 36 degrees. And in winter, hardly reaches 10 degrees. The average rainfall of this region is above 150 centimeter. Some places experience 300 centimeter. Storm and thunderstorm are the common weather phenomena. This region is very important for agricultural activities. Isn't it? Like rice, wheat, pulse, tea, sugar cane, jute, mustard, vegetable, and common tropical foods. Okay, so this is the Third type of climatic regions of Northeast India, where such and such temperature and such and such rainfall is here. Yehi yaad rakhna hai, ye data or facts, kitna temperature hota hai, kis tarah ka climate hai wahan pe, kya kya wahan pe grow kar aate hai, hai na? Fourth type of season, that is region of rainy cool monsoonal climate. This type of climate prevails over the higher mount, southern half of the Meghalaya, to the south of line. Joining Darugiri, Nongkla, Umsning, and Hameran of Karbi Anglong. Inner Miltai. Kitna temperature hai? 20 in summer, winter mein 0. 8 mahina tak rainfall hota hai, and the average rainfall is 250 centimeter. You know, the world's rainiest place, Masandram, falls under this region. So, what is the climate of Masandram? Rainy, cool, monsoon climate. Some of the common crops that are grown here are hill rice, mage, orange, pear, vegetables. Sector and the area is covered with natural pine trees. Okay. The last type of climate region, the region of alpine climate. The high Himalaya region and the northern climate of Arunachal Pradesh comes under this category. High Himalayan region, like northern part of Arunachal Pradesh. Even cold climate hoga pe, you can also understand. Zero se niche hota hai winter mein. Yaha pe blizzard chalta hai, jo colder chilly winds hai. Hai na? Aru kidar se aata hai? Asian plain se aata hai. Precipitation occurs in the form of snowfall. Hill hai to bhai yaha pe snowfall hoga. Or the infall thora baat sirf summer mein aata hai. Alpine grasses milega, salt bushes, juniper, stunt conifers are the main natural vegetation of this region. Kyunki hilly vegetation hai yaha pe, only hilly. Barley and oat are grown in sheltered valleys. Yak and mules are domesticated animals of this region. So friends, this is all about the climate. This is all about the seasons. This is all about the factors. This is all about the crops as well. It's a complete video from IQ Civil Science IS Academy. And if you want to go for a complete and detailed description of all the aspects of climate and monsoon, then don't miss the batches of 11th October and 26th of October. Okay. So thanks and all the best for you.